Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, here we are going to solve one very interesting quartic equation by two methods. Method number one using algebra, method number two I will show complex number method. So let's get started by writing method number one. Let me write my first term as x square whole square. Done. Second term as 8 whole square. If I want to frame this a plus b whole square, so I will consider this is my a, I will consider this is my b, I need to write here twice a b. So I will write here 2 a b. So 16 x square. Because I have added, I have to take away also. Equation cannot change. Okay. Now from first three term, what I will write? a square plus b square plus 2ab. a plus b whole square. So I will write x square plus 8 whole square. Done. Minus 16x square. I will write 4x whole square. Equal to 0. Now I will use one algebraic identity. That is called difference of square. So let me write a square minus b square a plus b times a minus b. So I will write our equation a plus b a plus b and a minus b. So x square plus 8 minus 4x equal to 0. Now we have to solve two quadratic equation. Let me write here quickly and then I will solve parallelly both the quadratic quadratic equation for quadratic equation. So let me write here x square plus 4x plus 8 equal to 0. And here I will write x square minus 4x plus 8 equal to 0. You can solve combinedly also means combined you can write plus and minus sign. x is equal to minus b minus 4 plus minus square root b square 16 minus 4ac 32 divided by 2a. So 2 I will write. What will happen here? Minus b only sign change. In place of minus 4 we will write here plus 4. Plus minus 16 minus 32 divided by 2a. So 2. In next step we will write minus 4 plus minus. This is square root negative 16. So we can write i times 4 or 4i over 2. Here also I will write 4 plus minus 4i. Negative value will give us i. And then I will consider x is equal to minus 2 plus minus 2i. Two solutions. And here we will write x is equal to 2 plus minus 2i. Two more solutions. So overall, four solutions are there using algebraic method, identities and all. Now let's consider the second method using complex number. This method is quite easier. If you will write the 64 towards right, this is the way. Then I will consider 64 times minus 1 this way raise both sides power 1 over 4 or 4th root so i will write x is equal to 64 4th root and then minus 1 raised to the power 1 over 4 that means 4th root of unity it is 4th root of unity but minus 1 is there so what we will say 4th root of minus 1 okay now if you will write this 64, then we can write this is 2 root 2. How it is? 64 is 2 power 6 and whole power 1 over 4. Using the exponent property a power b power c, we can multiply the exponents. So this we can write 6 into 1 by 4. So that will become 2 raised to the power 3 by 2. That means we can write 2 times 2 power 1 by 2, which is 2 root 2. Done. Modulus is done. Now, argument part. 
See minus one, so Euler's identity. Minus one raised to the power n. Let me write here e raised to the power i theta. We can write cos theta plus i sine theta. Okay. I want minus one. Then how I will write? If suppose in place of theta I am putting pi, then this Euler's identity expression will become cos pi plus i sine pi. Okay, cos pi is minus one, sine pi is zero. So e raised to the power i pi. So what we will write here, e raised to the power i pi for principal solution. If you want to write general solution, then we have to consider here two k pi, and then we will write our exponent one over four. This is the most important step for this calculation. Now. k is integer and k will begin from 0 1 2 3 four roots are there so four values of k so if i will sum up all the values then i will write x 0 that would be equal to 2 root 2 e raised to the power i x 0 means for k equal to 0 let me write here for k 0 this is x 0 i will put k 0 so i pi over 4 1 by putting k equal to 1 2 root 2 e raised to the power 2 pi plus pi 3 pi by 4 so i 3 pi by 4 k equal to 2 x 2 2 root 2 e raised to the power i 5 pi over 4 k equal to 3 then it will become 2 root 2 e raised to the power i 7 pi over 4. Okay. Now I will show you unit circle. Now see this value you can write k belongs to integer. Okay. Now let's see the unit circle. If I will draw it, you have seen that phase values, argument values. It was e raised to the power i pi over 4. 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and e raised to the power i 7 pi over 4. So, if I will plot it on real and imaginary axis, then see this is our x naught. 1 pi over 4, this is our x1. 3 pi over 4, symmetrical shape it is. Just bifurcate this unit circle in 4 equal parts. So x2 would be 5 pi over 4 and this is x7 or you can say x3 for argument 7 pi over 4. You can check also. See this is 7 pi over 4. This value is pi over 4. This value is 3 pi over 4 and so on. 5 pi over 4 is in third quadrant. Now if you will check the value, it is obvious first quadrant it is so 1 plus i over root 2. Third quadrant I can directly write minus 1 plus i over root 2. Once you calculate x0, you, you will be able to find out all the remaining x1, x2, x3. This value would be minus 1 minus i over root 2. And last value would be 1 minus i over root 2. Okay, now let's put the value and calculate our answer. See there are four values. Let me write over there. X is equal to 2 root 2. And then we will put 1 by 1 values. So you will get 2 root 2. Let me put the first value. 1 plus i over root 2. See first root is there. It would be 2 plus 2i. If I will put second value. Then it would give us minus 2 plus 2i third value means this is x0 this is x1 2 root 2 you will put over there minus 1 plus i over root so minus 2 plus 2i third value we will have minus 2 minus 2i and fourth value we will get 2 minus 2i here we are having four solutions with respect to x2 and x3 okay i hope you like this video do not forget to like, share and subscribe and we will meet in the next video.
If you have any query, you can ask in the comment section. Bye-bye. Good luck.